What's up, guys? Friday night, I thought, you know, maybe some peeps on the internet want to hang out with the samurai. And I know I'm long overdue for an update video, at the very least. I'm sure you would all prefer to have a... How's it going, Scarecrow? I'm sure you'd all prefer to have some project videos instead, but don't you worry, they're coming, okay? So, what is going on in my world? Well, a lot of stuff, okay? So I will just tell you straight up, the last few months have been really hard for me. I've been dealing with some personal issues. Um, I struggle with seasonal affective disorder. How's it going, guys? Wow, you're all tuning in real quick. Anyways, um, what's been up with me is uh, I've been battling a seasonal affective disorder, which is, means I get really kind of depressed and discouraged about life in the wintertime. And this winter was especially hard. But I'm coming out of the fog now. I've medicated myself and the medication is working great. I feel like my normal self again. The samurai is back, people. Maybe I should, should cut that light out of there so that it's not so bright. So, anyways. <clears throat> I know a lot of people can can relate to similar issues and that sort of stuff, so I just want to put it out there that hey, I'm a normal person and I struggle with all sorts of stuff just like everybody else and that's okay that's what life is it's a struggle so but yeah moving on I, I haven't been doing nothing I'll show you that um, I've been working my butt off nevertheless uh, building out content for the online school the samurai school of woodworking it's happening guys really quick uh, probably we're gonna try and launch by the end of next week, but I can't make any promises It's like we got so much content ready for the site We got a whole bunch of two uh, videos lined up to launch on YouTube that will you know be kind of geared towards Showing people what the online school is all about so I can't just release those project videos just yet Until everything is kind of lined up and in order and ready to go boom at once, right? So it's just a business kind of thing I know you guys are jonesing for some project videos, and trust me, there will be some awesome ones coming. So, so just take heart, you guys. Keep a positive mind. The Samurai is not quitting YouTube. And I'll still be uploading videos to YouTube, but I will tell you that my energy will be primarily focused on creating content and training videos for my school moving forward. And as I complete projects, I will continue to put them out on YouTube, uh, just like before. They'll probably be a little bit shorter, a little more condensed, as in I'm not going to be going into lengthy processes and showing all the detailed you know, things that I do. It, because in the past, I was doing longer videos because YouTube was telling me to do longer videos and all this sort of stuff. But ultimately... You know, I'm still going to be doing these condensed fun project videos and showing you guys what I'm building and I got a lot of stuff going on. The, the pergola is up on my deck. I don't know if you guys follow me on, uh, on Instagram, but a lot of you can kind of see what's going on on Instagram if you, if you just check out Samurai Carpenter on Instagram. Uh, I've been posting pictures of my deck and my stairs and posts and stuff going up. Oh man, thanks Adam. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, there's uh, Adam just launched me. Oh, we'll get some super chats. Wow, thanks, you guys. I really appreciate that. You guys chiming in and hooking me up. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's, I'm just kind of in this place where it's like things are transitioning. I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm going to be continuing to do videos on YouTube, but I'm also doing this other rather large, time consuming um, venture of starting an online school. And I'm super excited to announce that there will be a class, an actual tutorial class that I'll be doing on site here uh, in the month of August. So I'm just locking down dates and that will be, um, I'll be launching those dates and letting you guys know about that course. We're going to be doing a timber framing course, a small timber frame, samurai style. It's going to be sexy. Um, so there will be a limited amount of spots available for that. And um, that'll be available through the online school. So people that subscribe to the school will be have the opportunity to join the first ever samurai training class course here in the shop. 
So I'm excited about that as well, uh, being able to meet people and teach people and work together and have fun. We're going to have a big camp out on my property. I got room for people to set up tents or whatever, hammocks, sleep, wherever you want. You know, we're just going to be cutting wood till late at night. Probably it's going to be a three-day course. So um, if any of you guys are in the northwest of the United States or the southwest of Canada and you want to jump in on that course, it's going to be available when we launch the online school and it'll be only available through, through uh, the online school and those people that are subscribed to that school. So if you're itching to learn and get your hands on some tools and um, hang out with me in my shop for a couple of days and just go crazy on some timber, then you want to stay really tuned because as soon as we launch the school, it's that course is going to fill up really quick, right? So, hell yeah, that was a clickbait title. What do you think I'm in this to not succeed? Clickbait works, man. Everybody's doing it. As much as I don't like to and I don't usually, it's, it's a legit title. A lot of people have been asking me questions saying, what the hell, where are your videos? Are you quitting YouTube? I've just been getting hammered on Instagram and emails and comments of all my videos and stuff. So that's why I'm doing this live video. Just so you guys can chill the f out, okay? Anyways, man, there's so many comments here. Um, so yeah, what kind of questions do you guys have? Any, any questions? It's probably best if you have a question that you would like me to address. If you hit me in the super chat, I will address all those questions in a few minutes. So if you have a question about the school or what's going on or you know the course or whatever, um, if you make a donation through a super chat comment, I will check that out and try and address that as quickly as I can because these these um, um, these comments are just flying by so quickly I can't hardly even read them all. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of other people out there that struggle with similar stuff, uh, seasonal affective disorder and depression and that sort of stuff in the winter time. So I know I'm not alone in that. Um, did you guys see this plane blade that my buddy Dave up at Island Blacksmith forged for me? Look at that. Oh, Lemmy. Sexy Lemmy. This is a, an, in, an old industrial like paper shear. Um, that he forged laminated to this iron and like man, look at that texture that he like put on the blade is that I'm just setting up my sharpening station here because I got like I got a lot of dull chisels and plain blades I've been doing all these projects and just grabbing every sharp chisel I have and using it until it's dull and then grabbing the next one and now all my chisels are pretty much dull so uh, time to have a little sharpening sesh for a couple of hours at least and it's good. I like it. It's meditation for me. So, anyways, what is going on here? Should we check out the super chat? My boom. Okay, so there's just super chat. I guess nobody really cares about what's going on or has any questions, which is good. Um, why are you so amazing, Samurai? Uh, I don't know. It's just the way God made me. You're probably a pretty amazing person, too. So, uh, yep. There will be wedged through tenons in the timber frame uh, firewood shed that we will be building in the course. Um, there will be uh, like wedged this way. There will be like locking wedged through tenons like the ones I got on my, on my, uh, my workbench. There's going to be a lot of different joinery covered in that blind mortise and tenons, through mortise and tenons, like just all sorts of fun stuff. So... <laughs> What stones are, am I using? These are all Shapton stones, as well as I use like a, an Atoma diamond plates. These are from Japan. Um, I think Lee Valley Tools carries them. Um, those are really good for taking nicks out of your blade and flattening your stones. Uh, but all the stones I have, I got a 500, 1,000, uh, 2,000, 5,000, 16,000, and a 30,000 grit. That mofo right there. Oh, that'll put a mirror polish on anything. So. All right, Jay, what you got there? Deck looks great. Prices for the workshop. Uh, I don't know. I've been looking at some some other courses, uh, similar courses around the world. You know, there's timber for lots of timber frame workshops in the UK. 
they range like crazy prices from like $2,500 for like a five day course or something like that, or like $700. It'll probably be in the, in the between seven and $800. So it's going to be a three day, full three day course. And basically I will, we'll be working the, the course that I took with Liam Hoffman out on salt spring, um, when we forged a hatchet, that was like a two or th it was, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that was a three day course. It was around 600 bucks or something like that. And we got to learn how to make our own hatchets and do that whole sort of, sort of thing. And when we were at that course, because a lot of all the guys were like camping out on the property and we were all sleeping over on the property, we were just up at night till like 12, one, two o'clock in the morning, forging and having fun, drinking beers and having a great time. And so the course will be kind of set up that way as well. So I think there's gonna be a lot of value for people in the fact that um, it's gonna be like three days, like 12, 14 hour days where we're all gonna be eating together, having dinner together, that'll be, food will be provided. That doesn't, that doesn't account for lodging obviously. So your travel expenses are your own issue. The course will probably be about $750 and that includes your food and you just basically show up and we're just going to be going hard because there's this timber frame is pretty complicated as far as the firewood shed is concerned. There's a lot of pieces. We got, there's going to be sliding doors like Japanese panel doors as well as we got, I'm hoping to put a roof on the thing. So depending on how, how many guys we can get going and how much progress we can make, there's going to be a lot of stuff to do. So we're going to be working late in the shop, doing fun joinery on smaller scale, like the doors. And there's just a ton of stuff. So it's going to be like probably the most intense three day woodworking course you've ever taken. Um, so I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that. Cause man, I had such a fun time on salt spring forging that ax with every, all those guys. And I really want to do the same thing with woodworking and be able to connect with local people here. So pretty pumped on that. Um, Will the course be suitable for people with limited experience? Yeah, I'm thinking that um, I want to open it up to everybody, right? Um, whoever you know joins the school, whether they're beginners or intermediate or self-taught or pros, whatever. Um, I think there's room for everybody. I've done some. I did a Japanese timber framing course uh, years ago through the Timber Framers Guild and. There was all skill levels in the course. There was guys that were just like laborers, like starting in construction and some really pro carpenters. And I think there's enough work. Um, obviously I won't be delegating like the really tricky joinery t cutting tasks to somebody that has very little experience. Um, so depending on your experience level, that will also kind of uh, dictate your involvement in the project. You know, you'll be doing the, more observing the complicated joinery cutting processes and helping with the simpler tasks of you know like getting all the roof you know tng laid out and there's a lot of gonna we're gonna pre-stain the whole thing and there's a lot of simple joinery so you know i will be teaching you know a lot of simple joinery just straight housings for beams like floor joists and stuff like that so you you definitely have an opportunity to to get your hands dirty doing whatever you want but if you're you know, new to the whole process, I'm not just gonna give you a big router with a monster bit and say like, hey, start you know, cutting these beams because it'll likely be a disaster, right? So anyways, what did Ryan, can you do a video on quality band brand products? This would save so many people money, time and headaches. Yes, it's true. Um, like just tool brands and that sort of stuff. Where is this course? Wow, that is that even English? <laughs> You're not living YouTube, leaving YouTube, correct? Where is this course going to be? It's going to be here in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. What part of Canada are you from? I'm from New Zealand. We'll be over in July and August. We'll be Ottawa, Ontario. That's the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. So that's a long way away from Ottawa, Ontario. The stream needs more cowbell. I agree, but I left my cowbell up in the house. So, can I talk louder? Like, literally, you can't hear me? Okay, sorry. The volume is really low. I, I don't know, is the, maybe my mic's clogged. Is your volume jacked up? I don't know. I've never had people complain about the volume before, but maybe it's a little closer. Close up to the samurai's face. Um, 
See, yeah, it's probably your computer. Your volume's too low, freaking guy. Talking to me about my volume. Um, is this clickbait? No, I told you guys, I'm not leaving YouTube. A lot of people have been asking me, am I leaving YouTube? So I'm making a video. Am I leaving YouTube? No, I'm staying on YouTube, but I'm also starting an online school. So my time will be divided and there won't be as many consistent videos. So we're gonna lose stuff like Free Tip Friday, which has kind of already been phased out. Um, what's up whenever videos, I might do a couple of those. But those were honestly like filler videos that I made because I was trying to ride the YouTube roller coaster and um, get my living from YouTube, which is just a cluster fuck now um, because they've changed all their algorithms. And unless you're a vlogger putting up a video every single day, you just don't get the same views that you used to. It doesn't matter how quality your content is. YouTube just shelves your videos after like 24 hours, then they expect you to make a new one. So that just doesn't work well for me because I can't make amazing woodwork stuff in 24 hours. And I also can't stomach or mentally handle putting my life on display in a video form every single day. I don't have the energy, I don't have the time, I've got four kids, it just doesn't work to do a vlog. So that's why this I'm transitioning to the school. Um, it's what I've actually always wanted to do, was move into, to, into training and teaching people and sharing my gift, not just showing off my gift of woodworking. Um, so yeah, just the whole narcissistic tendencies of social media and living your life on social media and just constantly putting yourself out there, it's just not, it's not really me, I don't, I, don't, I don't dig it. So that's why I'm not doing the whole vlogging and just pumping out as many videos as I can at a lower quality. I just I just don't do lower quality. It's kind of like when I was a contractor, I would like meet clients and I'd be like, okay, well, this is what I can do for you. And they're like, wow, that's amazing. But I can't afford that. And can't you just do it like cheaper and like less quality? And I'm not, I, I'd just be like, no. I know how to build things correctly and do beautiful work. And so I'm not gonna do shitty work, right? And so it's just it's just something to do with my, it's just how I, my own values. And I don't judge other people for whatever quality work they do, but I just, I know the path that I wanna take and doing lower quality stuff and just, you know, lower, lesser quality videos and just, you know, yammering in front of the camera and showing every little thing that I do just so I can make videos and pump them out there every day. Oh, just, that just depresses me thinking about it. So that's why I am doing this whole school thing, which I'm really excited about. So I know I'm making the right choice. Um, my shit's top notch. Thank you. School costs, it's going to be very affordable. It's going to be a monthly subscription school. So you just pay like a small monthly fee like Netflix, not as cheap as Netflix, but it's not, it's not going to be crazy expensive. Um, it'll be probably in the between 20 and $30 a month ish, somewhere in there. Um, we'll have a founding members cost. Uh, so we'll, there'll be a lower cost uh, for the people that sign up in the first month. And that's the other thing guys, the, uh, when we do launch the school, we're only going to be opening enrollment um, for people to subscribe for one month. And then I'm going to be shutting the doors on the school so that I can kind of turn my attention to focusing on the people that are, are signed up and wanting to learn and stuff like that. We're going to have a, like a live, a private Facebook group where we do live hangouts and I can interact with people and uh, they can ask questions. They can they can uh, say, you know, what which content, what stuff do they want to see me building, what stuff do they want tutorials. So it's not going to be just like you sign up and you get whatever I make. Um, it's going to be a very interactive thing um, where we get to communicate with each other through Facebook and people can say, you know, we all want to see a coffee table build or we all want to see, you know, a cabinet build or a chest or something like that or more DIY renovation stuff or more timber framing, that sort of stuff. And then I will be focusing on what the students actually really want to learn so that you're getting content that is relevant to you and what you want to learn, right? So are the courses going to be live or pre-recorded or both? Both. Uh, so the course, there will be like a tutorial. So um, like my deck stairs and my railings and the pergola, I've been doing tutorial videos. So really long format videos of that whole process that I haven't shared on YouTube. I've just done kind of a condensed one of the stairs and stuff like that. But I've, I've got, it'll be like a 10 part, 11 part series, you know, of like 10 or 15 minute videos 
talking you through the whole process of laying out the stairs, cutting all the joinery and staining it and doing everything, weather protection, all that sort of stuff. Um, so you can just go through the whole process and see exactly how I've done it. So those will be pre-recorded tutorials, but then we'll also be doing probably a monthly um, or maybe a bi-weekly live hangout on Facebook where uh, I'll sit down for an hour and whoever tunes in um, can ask questions, um, you know, suggest content that they would like to see and that sort of stuff. Would love to come, could bring a John Deere lure tractor with a backhoe and that would help. <laughs> You don't need to bring the backhoe, but uh, yeah, I would love to have you come out, man. And uh, it's gonna be a rad course, so I'm excited. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really fun. I don't think there's, I don't think there's too many uh, woodworking online kind of training stuff I that I have seen um, that will be quite as kind of unique as what we're we're building here. And so, so yeah. We're, we're, I have no idea what to expect. Uh, I'm thinking that there will be a lot of people signing up just because there's a lot of people that just support me financially just putting out videos on YouTube. Um, and so that they get enough benefit just from me sharing the fun projects that I do. So I'm sure those people will probably be coming to the school and getting more training and more in-depth content and more access to you know hanging out with me and that sort of stuff. Right, and then depending on how the course goes in August, I'll probably be lining up future courses, but those will be you know, only available to people that are subscribed to the school, obviously. And, uh, and yeah, we're gonna see where it goes from there. Uh, the whole goal is to obviously expand the whole operation and be able to build a larger facility and actually create a, a physical, school facility where I can train and teach woodworking and do courses and have you know people working with me and making all sorts of content for YouTube as well as the school like it's gonna be good it's gonna be good for everybody okay okay so I'm glad to hear that a lot of you guys are stoked would you show and tell of the other brothers woodworking efforts um, what does that mean I don't know where did you get the little square that you use? I got that at LeeValley.com. Will we need to bring our own tools? Yeah, so there'll be, you know, you won't need much. Like I've got a lot of the power tools, depending on what tools you have. Um, I'll probably have to purchase a few extra, like I'm probably gonna get another 10 inch uh, circular saw just because that's a really useful tool for cutting a lot of the joinery. Uh, I've got a chain mortiser, I've got a router, I'll probably get another router. Um, we'll probably need two routers to cut all the housings and start all the tenons and joints and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it'll be like basically bring your own chisel, bring your own mallet, you know, your layout equipment, uh, just a tool bag of kind of your favorite, you know, hand tools. And um, we'll be playing around in the shop and, you know, I got my old metal working station and grinding station going on. So, you know, we can do all sorts of fun stuff, you know. So. Uh, I'm mostly self-taught, but I've been a, I was a contractor for you know 15 years before I started doing YouTube, and so I just learned from contractors that I worked with over the years. But I never went to school or or, in, or formally apprenticed or anything like that, bro. The secret arch measuring technique. <laughs> yeah, you like that? I know. When I found that, I was like, oh my god, I got to share this with my audience because that is just the best way to to draw arches. So easy. Um, you came late, yeah. So don't worry. Like the school hasn't launched yet. It's probably a week to two weeks out yet. Um, I've got a buddy help me, uh, Corey, uh, who was helping me doing video work in the past. I got him back helping me edit again, doing edit video editing and getting everything done for the website. And we're mo we're uploading the content right now. Like it takes a while to upload content to like a dedicated website. And so it's going to take a couple of days to continue to get all the content up there and work out all the back end technical stuff. I have my business partner as well as another guy working on the website and all that technical mumbo jumbo because I don't speak internet computer language. I do woodworking. So it's a whole team effort that we got going on right now. Sorry guys, these questions are just flying by. If you if you have a question that you want me to answer, you probably have to super chat me. Um, 
Should I get a planer or joiner first? Uh, joiner, probably. You kind of need both if you want to do like furniture and that sort of stuff. But um, a planer doesn't straighten the wood. So unless you have really straight, rough timber, you need a joiner to straighten your edges and flatten your faces before you put it through the planer and bring it down to thickness or else you're just gonna have really smooth, twisted, crowned wood, right? So a joiner is critical. That's the first step in all my woodworking projects is I bring the rough wood um, from wherever I get it and I straighten it all out on my joiner first then I move to the planer and get it down to thickness, right? So. Look up Festool HK and HKC saws on crosscut rails. Yes, I have looked at those. Those are nice, but they're Festool, so they cost a bajillion dollars. And I don't know. I've got a I've got a track saw here, and it's handy for for certain for certain uses. And those little short saw ones that are like connected or spring loaded, those do look pretty sweet. Um, but I just I've blown a lot of money. And I'm continuing to blow a lot of money trying to finish this renovation and deck project on my house. So I have my wife has cut me off as far as tool spending. Uh, only absolutely necessary tools, which can't really justify buying another circular saw because I've got like seven of them. Um, but hopefully in the future those those do look pretty sweet. Chicka 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 chicka. Do the arm thing, homie. What does that mean? Show off your house yet? Yeah, you'll see some house pictures. What do you think of them for cutting joinery? Um, I'm sure they're really nice. Like a, I'm sure that they cut just as nice as my Makita track saw does. And I use that for to cut a lot of tenons, like shoulder cuts for tenons. It's, it's, it's especially handy to just buck all your shoulder cuts, you know, doing long shoulder cuts, especially like on tabletops and that sort of stuff. Um, they are super handy tools. The, tr the track saw has has pr pretty much revolutionized the whole woodworking industry as far as like a super accurate way to cut straight lines really easy anywhere on site it's portable you can take it anywhere and it's super reliable tool so i highly recommend either getting a, a track saw or one of those little spring loaded ones short ones for doing you know hip cuts and rafter cuts and all that sort of stuff they're great tools your infomercial blows. Okay, well, you don't have to keep watching. Um, the kids are amazing. They're all sleeping like babies right now. I got bedtime down. I'm a bedtime boss, let me tell you, man. When it's bedtime, the kids are like marching, getting their jammies on, brushing their teeth into bed. <laughs> lights out. Nobody gets up. After lights are out, it's quiet. They don't get out of bed unless they go to the bathroom. I don't put up with none of that. Samurai don't put up with that. So no, my kids are great when it comes time to bedtime and they're having a blast. Now the weather's good. They're out oh, jumping on the trampoline, man. We're we're living it up right here. Do -do -do. That's why I'm. That's also why I'm really pumped. Is that I'm hoping to have my house siding and my deck and all that sort of stuff done so that when we have the uh, the course here. Um, the, the yard is set up where it's basically going to be a three day party at the Samurai's house, woodworking party. So if that's your thing, come on out. But do you like ABBA? Um, I've heard some of their songs and they're, you know, retro classic, but I don't, I don't listen to them on a regular basis. How's my blacksmithing skills coming along? Pretty good. I, I'm still waiting. I'm waiting on some belts. Um, those of you guys that were, I actually haven't shown you, maybe I should show you, you want to see my new sander? Let's check that out. So, I got this belt sander, Chris Wilmot, who came up with Liam Hoffman and we built, we built this whole metal working bench and anvil stand uh, a couple months ago. He sent me this belt sander, you know, hooked me up. This is, uh, he gets these all made, custom made parts and he ships them out to people. And so this is a six foot by two inch. Uh, belts, belt grinder, right? And you can adjust all the angles and tables and everything. And I'm just waiting on a whole set of belts so that I can start grinding bevels and doing knives and, and finishing up my uh, my chisel here, which I took apart and re reheat treated it, the whole thing. And I just need to grind the back flat, redo the bevel and that sort of stuff, and then put it on the stones, right? And hopefully that chisel will be salvageable. 
I actually put it in the oven and I kind of forgot about it for like four hours. Is four hours too much in the oven? It might be a little too soft. Might have to do it a third heat treat, which at which point I don't know if that's if that's gonna wreck the chisel or not. I don't know. Book a dude. You got you're just gonna have to go back and watch from the beginning of the video, man. I've explained what's going on. Jeez. People just show up and they expect the whole world to revolve around them. Well, you just showed up. Let me just repeat everything that I just said. Gosh. Yes, we depending on how this course goes, there will be future courses coming down the down the pipe. But you know, winter time is obviously not gonna be the best time to run courses at my house because my shop is only so big. And uh, for it to be worth it, you know, I need to kind of have like 10 or 12 people do the course at a time and I don't have enough interior space for that. So it'll be like a spring summer thing. So hopefully next year, this one we'll do in August and then come next spring summer, maybe we'll line up two or three courses. Um, but until I can kind of get into a larger facility, build my dream shop on my acreage one day, um, we won't be able to do like lots and lots of courses. So. It will be very limited in the group size. I'm thinking maybe 15 to 16 people. That was the, about the size of the blacksmithing course that I took. And it was in a pretty small shop, um, but we just spread out the anvils and there was hot steel and sparks flying everywhere. And it was close quarters, but everybody had a great time and we, we made it work. So I don't know, yeah, anything more than like 16 people would probably be a little bit crazy for me to manage and be able to pay attention and help people and that sort of stuff, so. Can I repeat everything I just said in the past 30 minutes? No, I can't. But what you can do, this video will be available on the YouTube channel once the live stream ends. So you can just go back and watch it. It's, it's pretty easy. So anyways, and a huge shout out to everybody over at Maker Central. Who's over at Maker Central right now? Um, there's a huge uh, Maker Central event. Basically, every cool person on YouTube, except for me, is there. Um, Deresta, Cremona, Wilkerson, all these dudes um, having a huge powwow over in, I don't know, Yorkfordshire, some, some British town. And uh, it's a huge, huge thing. We have a 20,000 square foot shop in Seattle if you want to work something out. Hey, maybe we could do that. 20,000 square feet, that could host a lot of, a lot of timber cutting. Um, uh, yeah, so... I wish I could have gone to that uh, Maker Central event in the UK, but leaving my family and flying across the pond to have fun for like a three or four day weekend, well, that doesn't really work, so don't have the dosh for that. I was joking. What prompted you to do the classes? Was it a problem with the YouTube revenue mount? Yes. Uh, that's what I was explaining before is that um, the algorithms have changed in the last few years and YouTube is a blogging site now if you haven't noticed uh, the uh, channels that are always on your feed are the channels that post videos regularly like daily videos and so it's a very vlog focused uh, model because essentially you have to understand YouTube right um, YouTube is Every day people are coming home from work or whatever, right? And they eat their dinner and they do whatever and they sit down at their computer and they want to veg out and watch a bunch of YouTube videos, right? But they're not going to watch the same videos every single day. So YouTube kind of needs to feed the, uh, the appetite of all the people watching videos. They need new content, right? So every single day people are now sitting down to YouTube, whereas before people were like, hey, I go on YouTube when I need to find something out or get a little inspiration. Now people are on YouTube every single day. It's just a part of their life. Therefore, YouTube is kind of like we have to feed the demand. And the way we do that is we focus on the content creators that are creating a daily content for people to consume. It's consumerism. Just get as much content in your face and distraction and gather people's attention so we can slam them with ads and make bajillions of dollars. So that's just kind of how it works. And uh, I love YouTube. That's how I've been able to make my living in the last few years. Uh, but it is kind of a love-hate relationship and it's a total roller coaster. 
uh, watching all the you know metrics and analytics and you know your reviews go up and then they go way down and they go way up and then, you know you have to constantly be releasing videos so I'm like a drug addict I gotta get my my fix you know by releasing a video and it's like oh the pressure's off for like a day and a half and I'm like shit I'm gonna make another video and, you know, yeah. so it's just like it's just not a healthy healthy mindset and some people can do it but I can't but I will just continue to post videos when I finish projects and get as much inspiration out there for everybody to enjoy. That, that, that's all I can do because I'm just one man, right? But, yeah, I know. I should have. I do. I have Belgian triple sitting up in my cupboard. I should have chilled that thing. Brought it down here. But anyways, next time. You're right. Do you think there will be any issues coming across the border with tools? No, I've, I've, done, a, I've done a lot of, I think even Liam... Liam Hoffman shipped a bunch of tools across the border to come and do the blacksmithing course. Uh, as long as um, if you're driving across the border, it's fine. You just have your tools and your toolbox and your car. Uh, if you're flying up, I've flown down to California before in like 2007, and I like packed a carry-on like suitcase with chisels, just packed it with every like hand tool, chisel, and plane I had to do this timber framing course. And you know, you check it obviously, they're not gonna let you take it on the plane. So as long as you're checking your, your tools and your check baggage, uh, a chisel or saw or whatever, it shouldn't pose any issues to, to coming across the border. Um, at least that I haven't ever heard of people having trouble, so. Love your videos here in Brazil, nice, Brazil. Greets to Brazil, Rio. I watch Rio with my kids all the time. It's a great movie. They will ask if you're working and making money in the US. Yes, this is true. So you could just say, I'm going up to do a, a educational course. I'm not receiving any payment or, you know, I'm not doing any work or receiving payment. It's just an educational course kind of a thing and they, they won't give you any trouble that way. Can't work in the U.S. without a visa. This is true, but I live in Canada. Um, we also love your sexy face, Mister. Okay, I'm glad you love my face. I love my face too. It's a good face. I'm happy with it. It's getting a little older, but you know, it's kind of like got that aged wisdom, getting the gray hair, you know, coming in like crazy because of the stressful life I have. But it's good. It's a good life. Anyways, guys, I've just been kind of yammering on now, and there's still. 500 of you hanging out, which is cool, but um, have I ever considered smoking crack? Um, I've actually been using cannabis to help me sleep at night because I have not been able to sleep very well for several months, which I never used to have a problem with that before. So I tried um, cannabis and it puts me to sleep like a dream. It's great, but I don't use it all the time. Um, it's actually a yeah, I hadn't used it since like high school, surprisingly, because it's BC, everybody smokes cannabis here, but not me. Um, but yeah, I've just been doing, using it off and on for the last uh, month or two, and it's great for putting you to sleep at night, let me tell you. It just <laughs> puts you into dreamland, and you have a really deep, good sleeps, and you wake up great, yes, indica, indica couch. Um, <laughs> so, flicker, flicker, flicker. Great bits, can you post a Bitcoin address for tips? I know that Bitcoin is an online digital currency. I have no idea how to receive or post links for Bitcoin. I am like, I'm like a golden retriever that can use a keyboard when it comes to computers. I just don't know a whole lot. All I know is like, check my email, upload YouTube videos, go on Instagram, check my Facebook. And I can like I can email files. I can like attach a file to an email. Um, but other than that, I don't I don't know how to do anything on a computer. I'm pretty pretty handicapped that way. So, um, no, all my older videos like some of the big you know stone sink and like big hitter videos like the workbench they're still plugging along. But most of the videos die off after like the first three weeks. YouTube just kind of shelves them to the very back. So unless people are directly searching for those videos, they're not gonna show up in people's feeds. So, you know, they, they'll trickle in like a dollar a month kind of a thing or a dollar a day, um, the older, older videos. So the fact that I have a lot of videos 
still kind of helps me out, keeps my baseline revenue, um, keeps my bills paid, but I'm not really getting ahead. Um, the channel's not growing anymore. It's kind of like plateaued, even though my subscribers are still going up, the income is kind of like plateaued because I'm not a blogger, right? So in that point, that was kind of the point where I was like, okay, shit, I need to think about other options um, for this business being sustainable long term, and I don't want to keep all my eggs in the YouTube basket because YouTube changes at a moment's notice and people's channels just die overnight. And so I was like, yeah, I'm not going to bank on on YouTube being a reliable source of income, and that's why I'm venturing out into all this sort of stuff. I'm also producing my tool vest for sale. I've still got to work out getting manufacturing and prototyping for that. But I've also got a whole line of other t uh, leather products um, like tool holsters, tool bags, chisel tip guards, um, saw sleeves for Japanese saws, like really high quality leather products uh, that I will be sourcing and manufacturing and then, you know, selling on the website as well. So there's going to be a whole lot of stuff going on as far as the brand and the business is concerned in the future. Um, but these things take time, obviously, and I can only kind of roll out one thing at a time. So the school is the focus now. Um, once the school is up and running and doing great, then I will be rocking onto uh, the whole branding, my own merchandise and, and the leather products as well as sourcing more tools and stuff for, for an online store, you know, reliable chisels and saws and that sort of stuff. So uh, there will be the Samurai brand will hopefully be around for years to come and you can tell your children about you remember that Samurai guy when he started out and he was a nobody who started in a barn that was 10 feet by 10 feet and didn't have any money or power tools except for the stuff in his van. And look at him now, Bala, Shakola, 20 inch blades on the Impala. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hard, especially people trying out YouTube right now. Getting into YouTube now is completely different than when I got into YouTube. I kind of built up my channel before everything kind of changed, and so that allowed me to stay in the game. But it would, unless you're starting a vlog channel, um, success on YouTube is going to be really hard uh, nowadays. Anyways, guys, it's been fun hanging out, but I got to go do some editing and finish some CAD models and get those sent off for plans because we got a whole bunch of sets of plans that are going to be available for all the projects as well. So everybody that subscribes to the online school will have access to like the workbench plans and tutorials and all the plans that I've built in the past as well as all the plans for the projects that I'm going to be releasing in the next uh, few weeks. So there's going to be a ton of value for what you pay uh, monthly and uh, I'm really just pumped to, to have people like doing this stuff and getting into it. Um, you know, so many people have already bought these plans for the workbench and other projects that I've done, but now we're just making them more accessible to, you know, people because you just pay $20 and you have access to all the plans and all the tutorials 24 hours a day. So whereas before, you know, I think, I don't know what I was, 40 bucks or something for just the workbench plans and, and the videos for that. So that's like one project, you know, and that was already a good deal. So it's, it's still, it's an even better deal in my opinion. It's even cheaper than, than what I've been selling um, up until this point. So, I don't know, you can join the school or don't join the school, I don't give a shit. It's, you got a brain, you can figure it out whether or not it's worth it for you. Um, where you been, man? Just saw the videos coming back. You're gonna have to watch the live feed once it's uploaded to the channel, once I, once I say goodnight. And I'm, I think it's time to say goodnight, right? Yeah, people are saying goodbye. It's time to, time to call it a night. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Mad Dog, I will. Good luck with the new adventure. Thank you, thank you for all the encouragement, you guys. A lot of people have been sending me encouraging emails, being like, hey, I haven't been around, I hope everything's good, you know, praying for your family, that sort of stuff. I really appreciate all that support. Um, it's helped me out and um, and as well as all the people that have continued to f support me financially on Patreon and on my fan funny page even though I haven't been putting out content uh, I really I greatly appreciate the that and your guys' understanding and grace for for me as I kind of work through my own personal stuff and, and now I'm back rocking and rolling so so yeah here's to a bright future an amazing summer and a kick-ass timber framing course in August. Okay, stay tuned. 
for those of you who want to jump in on that because man it's gonna go like that once we put it up but i'll give you lots of warning i'll be posting stuff on instagram i'll be posting stuff on facebook when the launch is happening so as long as you're connected to the internet you'll know when the school is going up all right so thank you so much thank you all for hanging out tonight now i'm gonna go crash all right Shamrock.